Hi, this is Angela Clark with Threadwaggle Quilting, and today I want to talk to you about how to back up your quilt path design files. We're going to do that in Windows by coming down to your start bar on the very bottom of your Windows screen and going to the yellow file folder. Right here on the bottom of your start bar, you're going to have a little yellow file folder. That's going to open up file folder. File Explorer for you. If you look with my mouse paused over um, this icon, it's actually going to tell me it's File Explorer. I am on Windows 11. Windows 10 is going to work the exact same way. Your file folder icon will look slightly different, but it still looks like a yellow file folder. When you tap on that, it's going to bring up Windows Explorer. This is File Manager, and File Manager is going to let you go to different places on your computer. So what we are going to be doing is um, moving things from your C drive, which yours may say Windows C, it may see it say Local Disk C, mine says Boot C, but what you're really looking for is what is inside the parentheses. So in this case, we're going to go to my C drive. So we're going to look by, at the Powered by QuiltCAD directory right here. And then inside of that, we are what we're going to copy is this Patterns directory. Okay, so we're going to our C drives. We're going to double tap on that. We're going to go inside Powered by QuiltCAD. So double tap on Powered by QuiltCAD. And then you want to see your Patterns directory. Okay. That's the folder that I want to make a copy of. So what I can do is I can right click with my right mouse button, right? Um, and come down to the properties on my drop down list. And what I'm looking for is how big this file is. So it says my file is, my folder is 255 megabytes. And that would be everything that I've saved into that folder, all of my personal designs, all of my purchase designs, all the designs that come in Quilt Path. And even the designs that we that we um, downloaded with version four, we had you save in that patterns directory. So as long as you've been saving everything in that patterns directory, it will all be there for you. Okay, now that you know where that is, you're going to need a flash drive. So what I'm going to do is insert a flash drive into my computer real quick. And when I do that, it's going to tell me on the bottom right hand side of my screen that I've inserted a flash drive and ask me what I want to do with it. So you can see the flyover machine screen coming up on the bottom right. Um, so I know I have a USB flash drive inserted and that the name of it was Samsung F. So if I come over here to the left hand side, you're going to see my Samsung USB F that it's that's the name it told me it was. If I right click on that and go to properties, it'll tell me how what well, how big it is. So in this case, this little flash drive I have is 64 um, megabytes or I'm sorry, 64 gigabytes. Okay, so um, a gigabyte is bigger than a megabyte. So I know that I can copy multiple versions of that patterns folder onto this drive. And in this case, this is, believe it or not, this little 768 kilobyte, this flash drive is actually empty. All that is, is the main folder on that flash drive that's, that um, makes it readable. Okay. So there's nothing on this flash drive at all. Okay, so to get my patterns folder down here onto my Samsung USB, if you're copying to a different drive, so in this case I am, I'm copying from my C drive to my F drive, all I have to do is click and hold down on my patterns folder and I can drag and drop this folder right down on top of my F drive and it'll say copy to Samsung USB F. I'm gonna let go and it's gonna start copying those folders and all the files inside the folders too. 
And it's going to take a couple minutes for this, about a minute probably for this to happen. It could take a lot more if you have a lot more files inside of your patterns directory. Um, if I go down here and I double tap on this, it'll show you all of the folders that were inside. It's a good thing to double check and make sure that your files are actually there when you copy them. So all I really want you to do is make sure you have a good backup of your patterns directory. Realistically, you want to do that occasionally. I would suggest making a backup of your design files anytime you add designs. So if you've added one design, you may be okay. But if you just went out and added, you know, 15 or 20 designs to your design file, I'd go ahead and make a backup of that, right? It's always good to have a backup. Um, if something does happen to your system, then we have a really easy way to get all of your designs onto your new system.